Okay, so, uh, quick story before I, uh, get to the review, as I explain why I'm going back and reviewing this movie. So, um, you know, coincidentally enough, it all started with, uh, finding out about, uh, that other movie I reviewed, like, last week, um, what was it, Miller's Boy and the Kitten, um... So, you know, I, uh, <clears throat> I guess curiosity got the better of me. I wanted to, uh, know a little more about the channel since, you know, that, uh, user clearly put a lot of humor into the subtitles and, uh, there I discovered that they had also uploaded the full movies with full subtitles for, uh, two, um... Yeah, two movies by, what's his name, Jiri Turnka, I can't even pronounce his name. I joked about this in my uh, best foreign movies of the 40s video. But yeah, um, but yeah, I saw that he uploaded uh, two movies. This is not one of them, but, um, you know, I, I actually found out that this movie was uploaded a while ago. Um, or I mean, I found out about it being uploaded a while ago. Yeah, I know I'm going a little, getting a little tangential here, but, uh, yeah, bear with me. Um, so, yeah, I started watching it a while ago, because, you know, I saw that it was on YouTube. But, uh, you know, as I was watching it, um, well, let's just say, uh, all of the uh, foreign singing and the lack of subtitles made me decide not to do it, but uh, um, what made me decide to actually go back to this movie is the fact that the other two, like, yeah, Jerry Turnka movies are available on that channel I talked about, so I figured I should also go ahead and cover this one just so I can say I've seen all of Jerry Turnka's movies. Um, so, yeah. Um, um, so, yeah, it doesn't have uh, subtitles. There's, like, a subtitle option on the video, but it doesn't say anything other than, like, music and stuff like that. But, anyway... Um, there's not a whole lot of dialogue in the movie anyway. It's like, um, um, by the way, the, yeah, movie is, uh, what was it? Spalasek in, uh, Czechoslovakian. Um, and I guess, uh, the English title is The Czech Year. Yeah. Going on, off on such a tangent that I forgot to talk about the title. But anyway, um, <clears throat> So yeah, it's, there's not really much dialogue, but it does have a lot of uh, singing, like the dialogue is all in song, um, um, but yeah, sometimes the dialogue does seem to be telling like some kind of story, and you probably, yeah, you might say that it's hard to follow without understanding it, but honestly, I think even if I did understand what they were saying, um, I'd probably still have a, have trouble following this, because this is like... Okay, so let's finally get to the plot of this movie. Um, so, it's basically a series of shorts that Tur Turnka did, um, and, you know, they all represent different seasons, I guess. I guess there's like six seasons or something in Czechoslovakia. Um... But, uh, yeah, there's six shorts. Each of them represent a different time of year, and it kind of shows, like, you know, Czechoslovakian traditions that, I guess, take place during those times of year, I guess. Um, you know, at some points they might t tell, like, a, an old folk tale or something, and, uh, yeah, it's kind of hard to follow everything that happens, but, you know, there's... 
I guess uh, the most you can get out of it is that, you know, they're celebrating, you know, they're, or, you know, not, maybe not always celebrating, but, you know, they're just doing traditional stuff, and, uh, you know, a modern American like myself is not going to understand everything that's going on, but, yeah, um, it's, um, so yeah, I'm not gonna bother going into, like, the details, but I will say the animation for what it is is quite nice. This is probably one of, uh, Turnka's better animated films, you know, the characters move around fluidly, you know, there's a lot of, um, you know, physical expression where, uh, facial emotions are lacking since the character's faces don't move. Um, <clears throat> yeah, it's, yeah, there's a charm to it, um, I don't, I don't know if I have a whole lot else to say, though, um, I mean, I think this movie is, um, effective in what it's trying to do, you know, effective in the stories it's telling, um, it's just that it's hard to follow, and, you know, some of the imagery might be kind of hard to follow, even if I did understand all the traditional stuff, so, yeah, I really don't know, I'm like... I'm on the fence with this one just from a uh, modern American perspective. Um, but yeah, it, it's... Like I said, I'm mostly reviewing it because I want to say I've reviewed all of Jury Turka's movies. I'm sorry if I'm, like, butchering his name. I, I have no idea how you pronounce it. Um, but yeah, it's... Yeah. Either way, I think the movie is well presented overall. Um, but yeah, I guess it's uh, not made for my time period or, you know, nationality. Um, so yeah, this this is kind of a hard one to review, but this is, this is probably still one of... Uh, well, I mean... I'd say maybe there is more to uh, Turnka's other movies. Um, you know, uh, I mean, uh, what was it? Uh, Old Czech Legends had, uh, you know, plenty to, uh, you know, offer in its presentation and storytelling and stuff. Um, let's see. Uh, and then... Yeah, Midsummer Night's Dream had some nice imagery. I guess um, Emperor's Nightingale had, uh, you know, a nice story. Um, so yeah, maybe this movie's not as good as those other ones, but it's hard to really gauge it. I mean, um, this is the first Turnka movie I've watched in forever, and... Uh, you know, I'd say, at the very least, I enjoyed the presentation. Yeah. But yeah, like I said, very hard movie for me to review, especially considering that I can't even get decent subtitles for it. Um, but yeah, I appreciate what they're doing with this movie. So, I don't know, I'd probably rate it a 6 to 7 not sure what I'm leaning towards it it might be worth giving a seven and but you know due to how hard of a time I had following it I might lean more towards a six so um also since you know I already did a list ranking like all of the you know best foreign animated movies this does kind of fall somewhere in the middle but it's kind of hard to say where where um, I don't know, it would probably be, like, somewhere side-by-side side with, uh, Emperor's Nightingale. I'm not sure if I'd say it's better or not, but, uh, um, I'd probably say they're both better than, uh, Singing Princess, but, you know, 
Um, so yeah, I mean, if you have enough understanding of Czechoslovakian culture, um, I'd say, um, yeah, this movie could definitely be, yeah, this movie's definitely worth a watch if you can understand what they're, you know, trying to express through the tradition of the country behind this movie. Um, but yeah, if otherwise, maybe, maybe wait until they, uh, upload a video or this video that I watch uses some actual English subtitles. So yeah, that's, I think that's, uh, as much as I can give it for now. Um, but yeah, as usual, if there's anything else I need to add, I'll put it in the comments. Um, and yeah, I guess I'll just leave it at that for now. Mash it and smash it, signing off.